Oh We're my gosh. Recording. If you're here for uh what's up, Doc, I'm sorry it's not here for the week. If you This is Eleanor Love Sly part two. <laughs> Eleanor loves Sly all day long. Will, I, will, I'm the big question everyone's asking myself included is will this end in romance or a restraining order? Um, possibly, I say romance, but legally they say restraining well, order. Well, he's back yeah. with his wife. So, this is Sylvester Stallone, if you're scoring at home, you don't know who we're talking about. <laughs> I, uh, gotta be honest, yesterday I was talking to a friend, and you'll guess by how we had this conversation. And we were talking about this documentary, mm-hmm. and I said, Have you watched it? He had watched it, and uh, I was like, "How gorgeous did he look?" And, what did and your friend my friend say? got very upset. Is and... your friend from Philadelphia? No, from okay. New York. And so he got. We used to date. Anyway, so oh, uh, he <laughs> so he goes, "Why do you gotta ask about that?" <laughs> and I go, "Cause I want to know how good he looked." And his girlfriend was like, "You think he looks good?" I think and I'm uh, like, "I think he looks incredible." I was watching this because this had a lot of obviously modern day Stallone. It had, you know, he was him watching his old stuff, sure. clips of his old stuff. But <laughs> he I didn't think re-edit he, anything, I think, did he? No, no okay, re-editing this time. Checking. I think he's. <laughs> Had a lot of cheek filler. He's like big. I, you know what, Jeff? I'm big. I'm cheek. gonna stop you there. Why? Because uh, that's rude. Why Long is that rude? Too. Um, you don't judge what we he's do had done. Well, he was born paralyzed on the left side of his face. Why are you bothering him? But I didn't mention Who, he, that. Yeah, but what do you think? How do you think straightens it? If no, but you, it's like here he has two big like protru- he has like titties on his upper cheeks. You're trying to shit on. I'm him. not trying to shit. What's on with him? the hair? Let's talk about that. Oh, you want to bring up my hair when you show wanna... up an hour late? <laughs> yes, I show up an hour late. I want to know what's going on. You, you with You didn't this watch hair. this documentary that you I picked. did not watch this documentary. This is more of your Philadelphia propaganda. <laughs> By the way, before figured, we get into all that, I figure I know it. <laughs> before we get into all that. Have you seen the latest since you're bringing me into Philly lifestyle? Fuck yeah. I don't know you what seen... you sent me there, but I'm, I am I was like, why is he trying to get me angrier? Have you seen the new Philly news? Hot Philly news. That Wentz went to the Rams? Nope. What? Which one? Jason Kelsey. Oh, yes. Nominated to be people's sexiest man alive. I have seen that. But also- A little coincidental with the timing. He had a rough day the other day. Yeah, but he's sexy as hell. He is sexy. And How can they, you block? They drug tested him. They, he almost, he had a fight with one of the cowboys. Like, how can you block when you're so fucking hot? Right. It's. I like how people's like we're not gonna go. But you're excited that it's not Travis. No, right? but they're going. We're not gonna go Travis. That's too obvious. We're gonna go with this brother who's never been bigger in pop culture due to his brother dating. It's just so Who, obvious. In the podcast, when they do the podcast. Uh, he they he refers to her as Swift. He refers to her fans as Swifties. Like he says, uh, Taylor. Like he calls her something. He doesn't call her Taylor. He calls her cunt face. No, oh. he he calls her bot because she's there to do you think distract Travis? Who's the sexier sexier Kelsey? So Usher or Jamie for... Fox? <laughs> Wait a minute. These are all picks? Usher and Jamie Fox. I don't get it though. These people are all the same. They've Look looked. at the picture they picked for Jason. Oh my God. He's in a shadow. First of all, he wins. Pedro Pascal. Everyone loves that guy. Gorgeous. Every woman's like, oh, he's so God. hot. I do a simile. He's like a, a, a I would, Latin Burt Reynolds. I would barely fuck him. I would fuck him hard. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Look at what? Lenny Kravitz with 18 pack abs at 58 Can years old. Can I 59. say something honestly? Jesus. Uh, incredible that, but he smells bad. What? Yes, bad. Is that anti Semitism? Why is it that? How's it get to that? <laughs> You're picking on his half Jew side. Oh, okay. Then yes. You're saying he smells uh, like locks. <laughs> it's worse than locks. <laughs> it's literal BO. You think he just? He's like a you is know all like natural. A, I think, I think that's what it could be. Look at him. He came to see Chappelle at the store, and uh, oh my god! But maybe I left the VIP room, and I was excited to be in that VIP room. Don't you think he needs you need like another shot just to see if it was like say he came from working out, he just threw a shirt I tried, on. I tried. I tried. You need one more shot to see if it's I'm good. consistent. Bo. If when I see him, I smell it. <laughs> it's like sense memory. It's uncomfortable. I can't. It's his musk. Oof. It's why he's on the list. What list? The smelly list? This, well, let's do, it's but crazy. That's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Crazy. Like, and he is handsome. Like, gorgeous. Like and built amazing. Who's hotter, Pedro Pascal or Jason Kelsey? <laughs> well, that's a tough one. <laughs> Shockingly, pe- I've watched Narcos on a loop though. People's so. never nominated. Did you ever watch it? No. A, a lineman from the NFL. 
So the timing okay. of this, a little suspicious. Time out. <laughs> yeah, what? that's exciting, though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize he was nominated. I think his wife, though, like, if I were him. I didn't know this was big news. She'd be too. like, take out the trash. I'd be like, I'm uh, the sexiest. Well, one of the he sexiest just holds men, the magazine up. One of the sexiest men in the world right now. <laughs> I'm not taking shit So out. he's the pick or he's. He's nominated. These are the nominees. Yeah, I don't like him in the shadows like that. Like, they needed a better picture. He's thinking. Yeah. And does he's he? holding his pinky terrible like he's in the shop like at least uh it, it, you show an arm like um what's his name i can't think pedro yeah, yeah it, look look at that look well at that's that. like a professional that. shot it looks I like jason's care. was taken by like his neighbor at a barbecue <laughs> or like they were like why is he looking at us <laughs> what a weird <laughs> list because timothy shall is shall you may is that how you say his name he looks like he's like 14 who else is on there yeah i don't jamie fox but they, these guys all look the same no yeah, one's had jamie a year fox usher they're basic 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 what? Oh yes, definitely. Is this is this how is this the order they have or is this just the finalists? Sneak a peek at six guys. Yeah. Usher and Jamie. Got it. So these are just our six finalists. They're not. And Stephen Hawking is seven, but he didn't honorable mention. What? That's so sick. <laughs> anyway. Donald Trump's eight. They're not not good looking. They're good looking, but they're basic. Biden's That's nine. stunning. That's, what about Chalamet? Uh, Look at this guy. Off the list. Oh, I don't know Look what that is. how hot he is. Off the list. What is that? He's 27. He looks 13 years old. That he, guy's 27 years old. No, he needs a uh, comb and he's got nice features, I guess. He's but dating one of the- Is he a skateboarder? One of the what Jenners. does he do? He's an actor. Oh, that's disgusting. He's dating a, uh, Kylie Jenner. Oh, so he's got is, he's going to be Kardashian, so we won't need him. Oh, and, he's, that's not lasting. But yeah. look how he spells his name, <laughs> Timothy with two E's and an accent. Is he English? I think he is. Ugh. All right. Off the list completely <laughs> um, for that alone. So uh, Jamie and Usher. Yeah, right. So, so Jamie out. and Usher are down at the bottom. You're moving Joe Biden up. Well, <laughs> Joe Biden's on there. <laughs> Joe, where's Joe? <laughs> Joe's uh, on. You didn't see the pol the politician I section? I did not. Yeah, he's on there. He's low. <laughs> he's like, I've always been the sexiest. <laughs> he just goes off. That would be cool. We're talking about did. the Middle East. Yeah, but I'm the sexiest. If they what? did give it to him, <laughs> just like gave it to Biden. I'm surprised they didn't give it to Obama. Everyone's like, God, he's so hot. I'm like, he is? Did you guys know Obama's still president per yeah, the I, internet? That's what I've <laughs> it's heard. It's so good. Per Frank Stallone. Dude, if you get these... You go down these rabbit holes that Sam Tripoli goes uh. down, obviously. <laughs> okay, so the lit, my list, I go with Pedro first. Okay. Top, did you watch his show top. on HBO? I, I did not, but okay. I <laughs> watched nor I watched one episode, and I was like, oh, I like this. It's I good. Saw, I saw it. And then I got busy, and I it never went back to it. It was some good gay romance in it. Really? Not involving him, but yeah. It was some as good. good as The Wire? Uh, it was pretty good. Okay. Pretty, some pretty okay. good. Like, I forget who the actor was, but you were like, you would never suspect him of playing a gay guy. And like, okay. He's like making out. Who was it? Nick Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, Oh, correct. he's a terrific actor. Yeah, yeah. I like Nick. And he's just like making out. And he's usually like, comedy, so that's kind of funny. It was pretty good. I like I All right. It. I'll check it out. But I enjoyed the show. My thing is, when I watch him, I go right to Narcos. Okay. And so I, I watched all of it. Do you, because I'm- one of them. She's trying to get on the show. <laughs> Clearly an audition. By the way, my nephew Not is, cool. My nephew is playing baseball in Mexico right now and I have to play this. This is so good. He is uh it's my favorite thing to watch cuz last year he played winter ball in Puerto Rico. So when they call him out for making uh, a good you mean Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> but I was saying it like that when he was playing there cuz I was listening to the sports. If is he on the uh, Tijuana, Narcos, Tijuana huh? donkey shows in the Mexican League? <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I told him all about it. So, but listen to the announcers. Rodriguez, el contacto, un elevado bombeado entre dos, es corto el fly, se tira el jardinero y roba la bola. Jimmy Kerrigan. <laughs> what the hell? So good. <laughs> that's, that, that, so good. That's the name that guy's never said. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Kerrigan. I love it. I'm I heard upset. De Niro in there. That was about all I, I picked up. <laughs> Yeah, so Give I'm it gonna, up for Jimmy. So I'm getting Kerrigan. excited. I'm gonna rewatch Narco. I've watched all of them, and it's like reading a book because I don't speak Spanish fully, but I I learn stuff. And so I'm gonna go. I'm I'm rewatching again, and then I'm gonna go. So every time I see him, I go right back to. 
Narcos. This is like when Kenny Powers went to Mexico. Yes. To get his career back. Probably going to be worse than that, but Jimmy yes. Kerrigan! <laughs> Jimmy Kerrigan! <laughs> and he's just making a diving catch. There he is. Not my Jimmy, but... He, you're, you're, uh, he looks Kenny a lot Powers. like your nephew. Yeah. A lot Obsessed. of people compare them. Usually, yeah. The same person. I'm excited. I hope Jason Kelsey wins. So I want Jason. I would put Jason. He would probably go. Lenny Kravitz would go second. But even with the smell, as I don't have to smell him. You um, think Jason Kelsey always smells great? No, but he's a football player. True. But rock and roll guys are dirty. But he came off dirty. Like if I, <laughs> I've met a bunch of what? I can't say that. What? Is that Jewish or is that racist? <laughs> Which are you going here? Are you saying I call him a dirty Jew? I didn't even say that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm but just, that did come in just immediately. Just throwing it out <laughs> there. I didn't even think of it until you said it. Would you think his genitals? <laughs> I don't know. It's so hard. Being from Philadelphia, it's a toss up. So, no. <laughs> is it both the glass half empty? But it's so weird. <laughs> he's so, he totally is half empty. And um, I'm not going to say which side. Would you think his genitalia smells, judging oh, by his God, video. I can only imagine that it does. <laughs> like, uncomfortably. He's a sex symbol, though. He, he is stunning. There, there is no doubt about it. He's a gorgeous man. But uh, literally, like, it, and in person, he's like, whoa. But the scent. Just fucked me up. So Pedro's number one. Yes. Lenny would be second. Timothy Chalamet's off the list. <laughs> off the list. <laughs> thrown out. Very rarely will I pick an Englishman. Who, who's number two? Where's Ke uh, uh, Ch uh, Lenny. Pedro, Lenny. Yeah. Where's Jason? Jason's third. Where's Jamie? Fourth. And Usher fifth? Fifth. Usher. <laughs> you know who's get Usher. Usher. <laughs> Remember Boone used to Boone freak out. Boone oh, Shout out to the crazy Boone Shock. People say is dead. We can only hope. We don't. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> but he, for some reason, he would always pick <laughs> Joe Biden. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Mitch McConnell. Uh, Mitch McConnell's chin is third. Steven uh, Seagal ten. Definitely We're, moving if up. If Say there. Stallone is on this list, is he uh, immediately? Everybody's off. Immediately won. Everybody's off. Okay. He immediately won. Today, last year, <laughs> the year before, twenty years ago, thirty years. So you he think wins they should just all. stop it and call it the fr the Sylvester Stallone? That's right. Sexiest man alive award. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. Let's do a people's sexiest man alive. Ooh. He uh -huh. wins every time, I gotta be honest. Well, no, but I'm saying, no, he okay. does, but he's saying what era is the hottest. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Against himself. Uh, Rocky oh. Rambo. Rambo. There's Rocky too, where like, like he's or Rocky what where he's leaning. Oh, I can't. <laughs> when he's got his arms up like We have Copland, if you like him a little oh, fat and disheveled. Freddie <laughs> Freddy and Copland. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite Stallone version? Not Frank or Sly. That's, we all know the answer to that. Well, of course. Frank. Uh, <laughs> Frank, you're an ass. <laughs> That'd be great. It'd be great if you were like, I, I think Frank is- I have hung out with Frank. Well, I've definitely hung out with Frank way more than I've hung out with Sloan. I've only hung out with Sloan once, so way more. Uh, but just so exciting to be that, that more, I spent time with Frank like four or five different places, but Stallone that one time, that was all I needed. Wow, last year lifetime. Yeah. What's is still over the top? What's your peak Stallone? Um not I, Oscar? I mean over the top Oscar's fine. Don't tell mom. A little Don't lean, tell. a little too lean. I like him chunky. I do like him a oh, little like chunkier. Him a little bigger. Like uh Rocky go to Rocky One. Rocky One he's definitely has a younger look. It's not the young, it's the body type. He's yeah. not as jacked. See, he's not, not as, as jacked. Okay, now go to two because he's like getting there. He's like that weird in between. I think he may have been uh, getting into enhancements. How you know, Jeff? You're so judgy. Creatine. It's these are legal. Look Over at that the counter. Gorge, perf. Gorge. That's not one though. That's later. I think two. Oh, it's two. two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See how cute he is with Mickey. Right there in the black and white. Yeah. I love the feathered hair. We got to get into this. I got to get my. There is this scene where he's got the headband on. I thought that's what you. What the fuck is going on, Jeff? I got to get my headpiece for this episode. If you're watching on video, I just put on a horse's head. 
Are we doing The Godfather? No, we're doing Sly on Netflix. Okay. Did you know Stallone's a big horser? He loves horses. Yes, but he's got issues with horses. He does. He talks about it. Yeah, why are you bringing that up? Well, this is the big, it's the theme. Are you going to bring the, up all his issues? I, he brings them up in this. Oh, okay. Sly getting up. You didn't watch this because you're unprepared to be here today. Okay, I am unprepared for <laughs> life, which is a real thing. And... um. But this was uh, first. Let me explain why I didn't watch it. So I apologize. But there's not a lot that I don't know about Stallone. So here are my notes. And you made this time. I <laughs> get that. It's just you're the only talking horse head. head off. The horse head stays. So wait a minute. He loves horses. For some, I didn't know that. I've never heard that in my life. Really? Yeah, I've never heard that. Okay. I yeah, don't his stop dad worked with him, right? His dad. His dad was in the cavalry in the army, and so he was riding a lot of horses. Yeah. But then Stallone had to, the parents get divorced. Stallone had to go with the mom. Frank goes with the yeah. dad. Sly ends up in Maryland with the horses. <laughs> Who does that, by the way? They just splits the kids down the middle. It's a very odd. Do they, is there a draft? Do you do rock, paper, scissors? Well, How do you say, I want ha, this one? You do you up, remember his mom? I mean, Jackie. <laughs> she was great, but she was. Uh, she wore like flowing kimonos. She was part of our wrestling, Wow Women of Wrestling. So I know Jackie as well. <laughs> I think Sylvester in this described, he's like, my mom was a character. Like, you pretty, Unbelievable. Pretty much like she was insane, but like he was saying it in the nicest way possible. Well, she would read people's assholes. Yes. So they start there. Some are novels. Where do you think she learned it? Like, did she practice on the kids? I think it's through the family. Did she feel around? Family tree of asshole readers. <laughs> She's like, your father's an asshole, but I'm going to start studying them. I come from a long line. <laughs> she could tell from looking at Frank... Or Sly, they spread their cheeks. With the dad. No, she would know which was which. <laughs> if you covered it. That's so good. <laughs> but so Frank went with the dad in Maryland. Is that what no, you said? No, Sylvester, or, or went, Sylvester to went to Maryland. I don't know. Maryland. They didn't say where the dad Fra was. Oh, okay. But so, and then he, that's where he was. He was kind of abusive to the horses, right? So it gives him. Uh, he was kind of abusive to Sylvester. Every, he was abusive all around. Yeah, he was not a good guy. But it gives, like last night I did a show at this Dynasty typewriter place, yes. and they have typewriters everywhere. So I was twitchy the whole your, night. Was because, your dad in there? Exact. It, no, but it was like Is this his club? freaking me out a little bit. I was like, I'm not changing these ribbons. I'm not blowing <laughs> this machine out. This is bullshit. Do you have to type while you do the set? Is that part of the challenge? <laughs> that would be so bad. Because <laughs> none of us can type. <laughs> we have one. I'm a one finger -er. I try to do the home keys, but I'm not good. But it, okay, so the other night, uh, Monday night, I was off. I was gonna watch the doc because okay. I was referring it to other people. Which you picked. I did. You haven't pick. even seen it, and you're referring it. Okay, you're shush it. Recommending because I'm obsessed with him. We Everyone know that. knows this. Yes. So As I was uh, gonna tell people to watch it because we're gonna review it and the whole thing, right? So I go to log in my Netflix. It won't let me in. It says this is no longer available. On that this happened device. to us. You're using somebody else's. No, I use my oh, own. We were using. We're using somebody else's. We and but I have. I pay extra to have it on other because I keep it at my mom's. I keep. You know what I mean. So but I it's think, only my mom's and my house. But I think I, just, I think they did their whole reconfiguration, and you must have been a. No, I paid for six. No, but you must have been a casualty of their whole reconf motherfuckers reconfiguration. So I change the password i do i mean i go through it now it's an hour and a half and you know i'm not good tech yeah so i i, I lose it i flip out i'm like this fucking thing by the way could i have watched it on my computer absolutely but did i decide you want to see stallone to flip out you want to see because stallone. i couldn't see him on my big tv exactly so i broke a few things <laughs> and i did you break your tv no, but things around it, and I bruised my knuckles from punching the walls. Jeez. I'm a problem. <laughs> I have bad yeah. anger. You're Stallone's father. So <laughs> that's why he may like. This is you. why I don't he have may kids. See that in you. Yeah. <laughs> you this is why I don't me. have kids. You remind me of my old man. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> this is what my friend said. <laughs> so I was when I was talking to him on the phone. I told him what happened and why I didn't watch it, but he watched it. What did he think? And he loved it, but. I did. I was telling him why he goes, and I was telling him how handsome did he look? Did he look gorgeous? Did he? And he goes, you know what? This, there I am punching the walls. And what is that? A broken somebody punched the wall. <laughs> it's, a, it's a meme about kid named Kyle. Oh. Kid named Kyle always getting drunk and punching walls. <laughs> Eleanor's middle name is Kyle. Uh, yeah, pretty well. It's, 
So <laughs> if I said my, when my friend's girlfriend was like, hey, do you do you think he's still good looking now? I go, yeah, he's gorgeous. And they're like, so you would date him now? I'm like, yeah. And Andrew was like, I already said who it was. Andrew Garfield. Like, Andrew Garfield was like, it's, he goes, he's never going to date you. He's with Jennifer. <laughs> like he took it serious for some reason. And then I was like, yeah, but he would like me. He goes, the girl who punches the walls because her Netflix didn't work. <laughs> like, Maybe he would like that. So shout out to Netflix. Fuck you. And look, at still, look at that jacket. I still can't get on the Netflix on the TV. I don't know why. So I'm going to cancel Netflix because I'm pissed. Look at that picture of him where he has a dog. No. It's hey, beautiful. That's a beautiful Look at him there. Suede. He has a Rottweiler head for a penis. Is that a deterrent? <laughs> that's, no, that's actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually even more sexy. I don't know. Does it get any sexier than that? Do you like the tattoos? I've late never in wanted life? to be bitten by a Rottweiler. <laughs> do, you, do you like the tattoos late in life? I don't, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Look at him. Tribal tats. So let's get into it. Uh, they open with Stallone. The family Stallone, get it? They open with Stallone. He is, uh, he's right. in his mansion. It has like. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like the play. Oh, Papa man. was Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever he. It's none of my business. I'm going to say no. It's none of my business. So he's they open with him in his mansion, huge uh, all glass in the front. Yeah, he's standing right in the middle. Nervous, but yeah, it's uh, it's a real home Stallone look, like when Kevin put Michael Jordan on the train. Right. It's Stallone. Do you think it's it's definitely his house (laughs) or a stage? No, it's his house because the backdrop of this documentary is. I got to move, you know, like I got to stay motivated. So I'm moving back to the East Coast. Oh, this guy's like a senior so citizen. He did, because now he lives in Florida. He, so he's like, yeah. I got to move. I, I'm feeling unmotivated. Like he seems like a guy who's yeah. never going to stop. Like, no, never. The ego. Like, he's like, I got to keep this. going. The um, ego's never going to let him stop. So he's you moving. You will see a Rambo 8 when he's in his 90s. <laughs> So and he opens he'll just up be crawling out of a plane or something. This is like a therapy for him. He's like, Do I have regrets? Hell yeah, I got regrets. That's what caused me to try to overcome it, to fix it. You're gonna make fun of the voice the whole time yes. because I don't like it. So they do a shot of his statue in his infinity pool with him as Rocky. So good. So I'm like, that's cool. Cause I heard uh, Adele, the singer, bought the house. Yeah. Um and I heard she wanted the statue and he said no. Of course not. But he but she did, she offered like a, a lot million of money more, and he said, "Fine." Way to go, Adele. But, oh, th- Sage. As the shots go on, he has like eighteen statues. <laughs> and I'm like, he couldn't part with one of them. He has so many fucking statues in his house of himself <laughs> that I was uncomfortable. It's like a museum to him. There was so many Rocky statues. They kept pointing. I'm like, "There's another one." He's got to stay motivated. <laughs> Was, and he's got to look better than those statues all the time. Not only does he have the full size statues, he has mini fucking busts of every <laughs> yeah, role he's yeah, done. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the, Rambo demolition. <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy. That's true. His wife must be like, fuck you. I can't get away from him. He's everywhere in this house. Like if she gets mad at him, she goes to sit down yeah. and she just looks up. What the get fuck? Get the fuck out of here, Rambo. <laughs> Shut up. Didn't they have a fight over dogs recently? That was what their divorce was over. Yeah. It was his Rottweiler. That, uh, I was po- so his, happy. His pant Rottweiler. But a uh, side note, this is a weird thing. I was working in Ohio this weekend, and or le- whatever. I don't even remember what day it was, but because I don't know what day it is, obviously. But I was working in Ohio. Where I was. We were in um, uh, Toledo, and I, I've never been there. And I, it was late night, and I wanted to go get some waters, and they didn't have the water I like at the hotel. So Mm -hmm. I was just going to walk around the corner to this gas station. And so we walk, I was walking and Andrew was like, because I was with Dice, he goes, don't go by yourself, take an Uber. Well, they don't have Uber in fucking Toledo. I mean, they have it, but they don't have it. It, You order it, it takes 40 minutes. It's probably one driver for like 50 miles. I'm not doing 40 minutes to walk uh, less than a mile. (laughs) So I walked by myself. It wasn't nobody there. It was like four lanes. There's a, a... highway entrance right there so i was like okay it shouldn't be it'll just be busy cars but it was late it was like midnight so i'm walking up all by myself it's dark whatever and i'm looking around some people are like no it's okay it's an okay area they got a lot of cops driving by so i'm like all right so i'm just keeping my head up paying attention and i hear like and i turn and there's a fucking rottweiler coming across the street and i'm like 
what the fuck? Well, like, like a busy... nobody's around. Nobody. No cars, nothing. The, the, there was the a highway entrance right there. But, and, and I guess that's where he came from. And I was like, oh my God. And, and so I'm like, do I climb the fence? And then I was like, I just squared up. Like, I'm going to have to seem, fight a Rottweiler. Did it seem angry? I, it lost, maybe. Because okay. it just was going. And then it went right by me. It wanted nothing to do with me. There was no one there. And I was like, oh my God, what if <laughs> I got eaten by this Rottweiler? And they had to tell Andrew, like, hey, you got to get an opener. She's maybe it was hospital. Maybe it was a ghost. <laughs> no, it was real. I saw it. Why would you say it was a ghost? Because you think I was thinking of Sylvester's crotch? Well, it's around Halloween. It seems like you're having mental troubles lately of knowing dates and times. It was after Halloween. I am having mental troubles. <laughs> I do need an assistant if anybody's out there. We're doing the win a contest to become Eleanor's assistant. <laughs> you have to have college credit. Yeah. Unpaid. Remember when Polly had un- do- oh, all yes. his interns at the comedy store? Remember yeah, Minnie was- Weasel? I got a guy who looks like young me, bro. It's my assistant. I forgot about Vinnie Weasel, yes. <laughs> Glory days. Dude, right? Um, I wonder what that guy's up to. Polly or the Minnie Weasel? Minnie Weasel. That's crazy. I don't know. I wonder if he looks like an, an older Polly now. now yeah. He's aged up a little bit. You're really Googling all the kids there, huh? I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this guy's family life. It's very complicated. It's very complicated. Just like it's Arnie. Bit, he should, you know why? You should have been with me. That's why. Everything would have been fine. <laughs> there yeah. really was. Uh, they had good talking heads in this. Tarantino was like, uh, looked to be in his home theater, <laughs> really doing some good movie analysis on okay. Stallone. But then they had Arnie, which- No. Oh, yeah. Really? I was, anything he says is just so funny. Just like with that voice and the- Accent. Oh, obviously, Ar- it's been oh, covered. You know what I went? Uh, Arnold. Who'd and you, you call him? Arnie. Arnie Palmer. Like, no, don't even. I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> I was like, but wait, Arnold. That's funny because people pit them against each other and well, say they, they, they don't like each they other. Discuss but they discuss how they were big rivals. Yeah, but I think it's been squashed immediately. I told you they hang out at the hairdressers all the time. Yeah, or used to at least. Arnie talking about just. Anything is just Arnie, so great. Stop it. And I was like, how is this guy ever so a you fucking- met Arnie Hammer. I was how like, is he ever a governor of anything? Because <laughs> California voted him in. But it's they're crazy. fucking idiots. But just hearing him talk about this, you're like, this is crazy. This guy was a high level ranking official. Somebody asked him if he would be if he wanted if he would have run for president. He's like, I don't think I can. I'm he's like, not a he's yeah, not, a, you can. not born here. <laughs> Sicko. Look at Tarantino. He looks, like, look at he him. looks so excited he, to talk about it. It's like an older, kinder Tarantino than you're used to seeing. He's, he's got glasses. The nicest. I told you, he comes to the store all the time. He's great. He, uh, yeah, he was really breaking down Stallone films. <laughs> so Stallone, as he's moving, finds a bunch of old cassettes. Okay. And this guy is so into himself that he kept cassettes of any interview he had, like ever had done. So they did a cool. Why do you say he's so into himself? Don't why, Who why can't cassettes? shush? Why can't it be that he's studying his interviews to learn to do better in the next interview? Like I have a ton of sets on my phone of me doing stand up. <laughs> so Does that mean I love myself? No, I need better tags. It means you hate yourself. But he well, that's true. Why is he so? He's like <laughs> doing stand up in his interviews. He's studying his film. No, like, but when you interview, you have to be on point. I should have said you, this, like, right? Like, yeah. You know, and like, I gotta be careful because my set, lip goes down. Next set, I gotta talk about my mom reading the asshole. You know what I'm <laughs> uh, so he finds the cassettes, and they did a cool device thing where they kept playing the cassettes mm-hmm. throughout as kind of like a oh, narrator, okay. which was inter- an interesting device, I thought. And they lead it off with this lady like, I must ask you a question right off the top. You were born in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> and so they did. They started out with like this lady narrating the early part of his okay. life, which was interesting. Uh, so he's, they say born in Hell's Kitchen. He goes back to Hell's Kitchen in this doc. Claims he hasn't been there in 65 years. Seems far-fetched, but that's what he says. Okay. Is these no, guys I on, believe that. Is these guys on the street? He goes up to this random dude. He's like, you live there? The guy's like, no, I live like down that way. I used to live, you know. Like, and the guy's like, really? <laughs> like, the guy's like, what? If, I'm talking to Stallone on the street? <laughs> and he just starts talking about the guy about his building. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Hysterical. Odd moment to be on the street and you're in a documentary. So he said he hadn't been there in 65 years? That's what he said, okay. yeah. So he went left yeah. and never looked back because he didn't have good memories. Well, yeah, he had a terrible time. Lived in his car there. It was craziness. His dad was a barber. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Like Sebastian Meniscalco, Italian For- barber. This guy? 
we Francesco Stallone? <laughs> Did he do the horse's hair? Did he cut the horse's hair? Well, his dad was like, I'm not going to make it into a barber. I'm going to get into cosmetology. Oh, the new trend. It was a beauty. big deal. Big deal. I guess get his, your Cosmo license. His mother was a cigarette girl at a club. I, I forgot that that was Cigar, a thing. Cigars, cigarettes. So she just walked Cigar. around. With they had the, that at the Sky Bar not that long ago. She's like, cigarettes? I think they still have it. <laughs> Asshole readings? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, he says he was born in a charity ward because they didn't have the money. She was give in labor on a bus and wouldn't get off. And someone's like, you gotta get off the fucking bus, lady. <laughs> I'm giving birth to the, the next greatest, <laughs> amazing American hero. And they're like, get off the bus, get into the charity <laughs> ward, not on She's this like, bus. Can somebody record this? Do you know what I'm about to give birth to? Uh, he talks about the birth accident that has traumatized you more than him. Well, because they got him out with the uh, horse hooves. Yes, horse hooves, <laughs> and it didn't connect cor- correctly. And they pulled, and so he was born. A lot of people like make fun of him, and I'm like, I wouldn't do that. Yes, you do all what the time. What are you time. talking about? And they're like, he was, he had like face surgery. He had this. Yeah, he's paralyzed on the left side of his face, so he's trying to get like reconstructive. They say in fights he often turns left to block <laughs> to take the punches. He doesn't feel it. Uh, Frank said they. I don't like that. They joke. bring in Frankie naturally. His brother. People forget Grammy winning, great songwriting. He, didn't he write the in the Rocky do 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 do? People shit on that back. one, but he did the <laughs> stay, uh, Saturday Night Fever. Yeah. Yes. He had a big song. Uh, he said the parents were always screaming at each other constantly. <laughs> I can't imagine. Uh, Sylvester, I didn't know this. He lived twelve months a year, twelve months a year, which is all year. <laughs> Wait a what minute. He said. <laughs> what? What did he say? He said I lived twelve months a year, which I just realized when I saw that I wrote that that that's all year. Uh, in a boarding house, like they just—I didn't even know that was a thing. They could just throw your kids in a fucking boarding house. He but, said the parents didn't have time. They're just like, yeah, sorry. Yeah, go to the boarding go to house. Boarding house. So that's in. New York. Uh, 50s? Yeah. 60s? Or 60s? Yeah. 50? Like well, how- Who knows? He's in his 70s. Yeah. So, and they were just like, I, we can't afford it, so there's no daycare. Have fun months at the boarding house. 12 months a year, never went home. <laughs> 12, <laughs> 12 months a year. 12 months it's a great, It's a great way to put it. I want to start using that. I've been doing that 12 months a year. <laughs> But people do do people say seven days a week, so why not twelve yeah, months yeah, a year? Yeah, yeah, seven days a week. You know, like okay. twelve months a year. I was in the <laughs> boarding house. <laughs> Never heard it like that. That's great. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So your parents are work, so that's like their daycare. But it sounded like he was there full time. Sure, he, he said people say to me like he was shitting on people, being like, "Oh, like you weren't nurtured," like, and he was saying like, "Yeah, I wasn't nurtured." He's like, "But." He said, I get the nurture from the embrace and love of strangers. He's like, I wish I could get over it, but you can't. That's why he says he can't stop working, is he needs to fill that hole. he needs that love, yeah. And if you don't feel that love, then he's... He needs to fill that hole that his mother couldn't read because she was out... (laughs) Didn't have any grooves in it. (laughs) It was too deep. (laughs) He's got full feeling in his asshole, not in his face. (laughs) Yo, what? What is wrong with you? you? What do you mean, yo? By the way, I've been meaning to ask... You notice the trend among young women these days, like teens or and preteens? I don't know. I'm not following them. They're all Are saying you? bro. A lot of bro going on with j- girls and a lot of suck my dicks. Is this the new, is this where feminism has taken us? No, it's probably TikTok. It's like, yo, bro. I'm like, bro, you guys are women. I have seen the bros. Bros in younger, like 20 something. But it's girl the girl, bro. It's like, bro. Yeah. And the girl's like, what? Or like. It, suck I- my dick. <laughs> I'm like, suck your dick. What <laughs> dick? <laughs> This is uncomfortable. But that's what I said. They misuse everything. They don't I guess. know how to they don't know how to curse right. They're like immigrants. Bro. Remember when they learn to curse and they use it all backwards? It's weird their women are taking the bro for themselves. <laughs> You're very upset about that. I'm not I just Do you miss just, the bro. I don't I never Do you used feel it. I'm not Armenian. Are you bro less? <laughs> bro. Bro. You want Uber ride or Ohio bro? <laughs> uh <laughs> He said he is, we know this from because we watched wasn't our first episode still on? we yes. were on full circle this I, is our okay. last episode uh, we're done after this <laughs> um, but I think I wore the Rocky shirt then too I forget he mentioned this and that when he escaped via movies he said like because of his child was yes. not good he had hero worship he said he wanted to be the guy who saved a bus full of children yeah oh <laughs> he like wanted to be a literal Superman. <laughs> 
<laughs> 12 months a year. He wanted to do it. He talked about Hercules. Remember from the oh, first yeah, one? Hercules. Where he yeah, first that was, was the like, big one. I got to be jacked. He saw this guy, <laughs> this actor. This is in quotes. I wrote exactly what he said. <laughs> Thank you. I see this ridiculously handsome, perfectly built male role model. <laughs> He said that was the first male role model he had in his life because his dad wasn't a role model. Right, and he probably wasn't built nice, his dad. Ridiculously (laughs) handsome. Was he jerking off in the theater? Well, Hercules was... Oh, look how cute. Ridiculously handsome. A young Stallone. He's like, look at that guy. Who was Hercules? Um, Steve Reeves. Reeves. It was Christopher Reeves. No. As a child. (laughs) <laughs> 12 months a year 12, 12 months a year I was watching Hercules <laughs> Stallone even became an usher at a movie theater so he could watch movies right. all, his whole for shift for free I remember that he, he claims him and his buddy John Herzfeld the director never paid for a movie in New York so they would sneak in and pull all sorts of shenanigans oh my god so good I've done it you've snuck in a million times with John Herzfeld <laughs> no oh. but I will <laughs> would you uh, date John Herzfeld just to be close with Stallone Yes. <laughs> John, if you're listening. <laughs> um, he's not going to date you. You punch walls. <laughs> oh, Frank uh, went to Philly, by the way. I see in my notes. Yes. Who Frank, won that? Philly, Jersey. like they Who were... won, Philly or Maryland? Who had the better deal? Sounds like the it's dad, tough. though, is a real violent psychopath. That's tough. It uh, can be tough. It can be tough. <laughs> I don't know. Maryland's wild, too, but, but, but Philly... I forget what part of Philly were they in West Philly? Didn't say, but he said Maryland. It sounded South, like a very Southwest, a rural, maybe something like that. Sounded like a very rural area yeah. in Maryland. They definitely switched up when they went to Philly, um, it, because our favorite thing to bond over is Wildwood, New Jersey. You and Frank, yes, because it's so the Wildwood like where the poor kids go for vacation. It's there, but Jersey it's the best. Shore? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What? Oh, that's where it was. Home Circle. I never heard of that. Home Circle House? Home is Circle. that Frank or Sly? 2300 block of... What? I lost it. Oh, this is Sly. Philadelphia. You know, like... Philadelphia. Do they, for Christmas, does the whole family come together? They meet in the middle somewhere? I'm assuming they don't let the dad, but maybe... They meet in Delaware? Yeah. Well aware. Um, home Circle. Oh, yeah, I was looking to see that address. But How come you didn't go with your dad in the divorce? <laughs> you know what? It was crazy. You could have been the young Frank. My parents... What? Winchester Park? Yeah, nothing. It does nothing for me. Never heard of it. Probably ri- it's probably it's I where thought all it was the r- West Philly for some reason. It's but where all the rich cosmetologists. Northeast. Live. That's why. Northeast, that's up there. That's closer to the suburbs. It's a nicer Is that a Hollywood? Philadelphia Excuse me? I see a Hollywood. I not Oh yeah, right there. Never been to Hollywood, Pennsylvania? No, never been. Next to Rockledge? <laughs> yeah, Rockledge is great. <laughs> It's right near the Sky Zone I'm, trampoline park and the Philly skate play. I'm like down there. Yeah, I don't. I'm closer to see that line. You're like where jerks. all the uh, the yeah. dumpsters I'm are. I'm like on the down map. to Coney. Yep. Yeah. I'm down there. I'm down it right says, by the sports center. It says trash. Citizens Bank, like right there, like a a mile from there. Yeah. You lived in the arena, didn't you? In the ballpark. No, but I would football, sneak in there a lot when it was Vet Stadium. Yeah, you were an usher there. No, my mom was a beer girl. I was usher. <laughs> you slept with Usher? Usher, gay. Uh, I don't know if he's gay, Alleg- but <laughs> there's a gentleman that re- says that on repeat. Who's dead? Um, or, hopefully. Yeah. So I, I, why did I put him in anyway? So, but, but there was something I was going to talk <laughs> about that, and I forgot. I lost Usher gay rumors. Yeah, Usher gay. When Usher was, I just found this out when he was 13. He got the record label. L. A. Reid was like, you know what you need? You're going to go live with P. Diddy in New York by yourself. In oh a, yeah, in an apartment. That's crazy. Yeah, but didn't that happen to Justin Bieber as well? Uh, with Diddy or with someone yeah, else? With Diddy. With Diddy. Huh, I didn't know this. Yeah, very. Uh, it's a thing. Very it's strange. a it's a thing. It's a Diddy Diddy thing. Imagine being thirteen and you're living with a, a imagine grown being man. Diddy. He's his life is ridiculous. <laughs> what? What do he say? Oh boy. <laughs> jo- oh what? What is that? Oh shit. <laughs> How Diddy molested him and Usher. Okay. There are some, uh, There's th- that. what I saw was kind of uh, hinting at, at that. Yeah, uh, he Diddy diddled them, they said. 
There was, yeah, it was, uh, it was some interesting. I saw an interesting some video interesting. somebody sent me that was like 15 <laughs> minutes of questionable P. Diddy interview snippets and stuff. But uh, that's for he another day. What? P. Diddler. That's yeah. a Batman. He's a villain. Diddler. Jim Carrey played him. The Riddler. Oh, I thought it was the Diddler. Shut up. Oh, don't sorry. do that because you know I don't watch <laughs> superhero movies because I'm not with. You people. Dare, Rob's I'm wearing not with X, you bros. Rob's wearing an X-Man shirt. Today. Are you really? Sorry. Have some respect. You're wearing a horse's head. I am. Have some respect. And I'm about to get Where in. Where did you get that? This? Yes. This is, I wear this at home. Give me. I wear it 12 months a year at home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got this for a Halloween. Okay. Baby Barb liked it. She actually requested that I wear it this Halloween. Okay. Did you? Uh, yeah, just wear a horse's head, nothing else. What did you dress for as Halloween? Just this? Um, um from The Godfather. <laughs> ah, I'm did in you your put bed. Blood all over your <laughs> no, and I just sheets. That I just wear great. the horse's head. That's that's it. <laughs> and she was Ursula from Little Mermaid, and my son was Spider Man. Some oh some guy was God. like, oh, and a horse. <laughs> it's like what's what's this? <laughs> like it doesn't need to be a theme, you asshole. Jesus, you're their carriage. So you're much pressure them. as a parent now to dress Agreed. up. My parents never dressed up. No. No parents dressed up, ever. Oh, it literally, this, this Halloween, I was at my mom's, and I was trying to, like, make dinner and get the the k- candy ready for the kids, but obviously it's not nearly as busy as it was back in the day, but it, because now they have parties on streets, and they yeah. just keep the kids safe, whatever. We weren't safe. And so um, I, I was like, Mom, how did you do this? She goes, I was never ready. Never ever ready i was like okay <laughs> yeah. right. She's like, shut up <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was only me her and my brother charlie so i don't know how she did it with all of us getting us in costumes getting us fed letting us go trick-or-treat nowadays like, she would have to do a theme and she would have to be in costume herself <laughs> yes, which yeah. would be even harder she didn't but her and my older sister like when we were older they would go to parties together my sister kathleen and her and they dressed as teletubbies they did dumb stuff like that if i were your mom i just would have gone there's so many of you like all in Phillies jerseys like you're the team Boom. Done. <laughs> we, we are the Phillies <laughs> yeah go um, ahead there's nine of them that's our starting lineup <laughs> the whole team here. <laughs> there you go. Pick a I player. go as Kelsey. Yeah, yeah we pick go a player. The- boom, we're done. <laughs> Have fun, guys. <laughs> so good. She dresses as the coach. I'm Gary Matthews. Like it's, it could be Mike killer. Schmidt. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted you want. to be him. Um, that would be amazing. Um, uh, but no, she. It, that was the other thing. So she would o- not only get dinner ready. They would get us in our costumes, whatever. And then if I had friends, especially when I was a little older, that didn't have costumes, because whether they couldn't afford them, couldn't think of anything, my older brothers and sisters would go upstairs and figure something out and come down and be like, all right, this is what we're going to do. And they would dress my Make friends. Put these and then tidy we'd go out. on. It was crazy. Have a good time. And Kathleen and Tommy were so good that they would win... Um, Every costume they would go to every place. Kathleen was Frankenstein for a long time. It was very funny. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see that. A <laughs> she lot made as, these as giant. Bo- then she was an army. Uh, you know those army guys the like toy this soldier. Yeah, but she had the things on her feet, so it looked like she was just standing. <laughs> like it was hard to walk was she a in. Street it. performer. Yeah, what's that called? You remember how like whatever like the platform it, so it wouldn't fall. She made that on her. Jeez. I have pictures of it. She's incredible, Kathleen. God rest her soul. She that was her favorite holiday. We got to get into horses. We got to get into the horses yes, right here because Talon says one of the craziest things I've ever heard in my life. So he gets into Twi- how uh, better than twelve months a year. Yes. Okay. He gets into how his dad got into playing polo because he was in the army. Uh, so his dad's a polo player. <laughs> Stallone's like, you know, I was a polo player, and I was like, what? Never heard this in my life. But this is where it gets good. I was playing like sandlot polo. It was like, what the fuck? Sandlot baseball is like anyone has a glove and a bat. You go, everyone shows up. What are you just fucking? Where do you find a horse? You show up in the park, sandlot pickup game polo, the richest game in the world. What is he talking he wear, about? He wears your hat. What the right. fuck is he? T- sandlot <laughs> polo with the shirts and skins. He's got Frank on his back. <laughs> I, I've never heard one of the. I've never met anyone who's played polo in my life. True, Two, same. Sandlot same. polo. Sandlot polo is great. So it's like street hockey. Like I, I just what, but everyone has a horse. So no horse. I don't. No, they have horses. I was like, this is the craziest. So it, was he using the little stick horse? Look at him on the horse. How cute. They were using brooms. <laughs> it was street street polo. Wow. 
Have you ever heard this? And all never, your never years in my of life. Never, knowledge. never, ever. Yeah, they That's, said he loved uh, polo, but Sam only pickup. He wasn't playing organized <laughs> for his school. <laughs> pickup, he's waiting to get it. Uh, guys, I'm here. Hey, I got next. <laughs> My horse is getting uh, hungry over here. All know. right, I'm not going to hit you, but calm down. And <laughs> Fuck, it's so- it's, his horse is you, and he just got you on a leash. <laughs> he had his brother I... and another guy in the horse outfit. He was on top of him. <laughs> that could be a way to do it, too. <laughs> That's Sam Polo. <laughs> Sandlot Polo is not real. That needs to be a movie starring Stallone. A hundred percent. There's your movie. <laughs> you you want to go back to comedy? Oscar was meh, but you could go back. With you could this. get some of the guys from Sandlot. The fat guy with red hair. Amazing. Could, could They're all grown now. Yeah. It's, Sandlot Polo. What a crazy term. But They're, by the way, I like Sandlot. I didn't learn that till later. Well, that's not what we called it. We just no, called it same, street same. or whatever. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'd never heard that either. But I was like, "What?" Sandlot Polo, oxymoron. <laughs> like, What'd you call him? Sandlot yachting. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse hey, me. Wait, just get the boat on the driveway. <laughs> you know, you got a boat. Sand- you show up with other guys. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh, my little fuck? Sandlot Polo player. Even crazier. This guy says he was nationally ranked at 13, which I said, how many people were, e- were even playing polo in the who's country? Who's keeping score? Who's ranking? The neighborhood junkie? Who's the who's ranking polo players in the just U.S.? Just a guy sitting there like, all right, your number, what number you want to be? <laughs> I'm 13 in the <laughs> country. <lucky> 13. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! What are you talking about? Listen, there was a little brain damage with the. Po- <laughs> this guy was ranked nationally. when he was pulled out. Look at that! He it said was- the only game he had played in the suburbs was Sandlot Polo. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I was ranked nationally in Marco Sandlot. Yes, Polo. Marco. <laughs> you play you out play, of the. Pool. Yeah, you had a little puddle. My mom used to say because they played water polo, and she goes, "How do they get the horses in the water?" <laughs> Is that real? Water polo? That's what she thought? Yeah. Your mom's Jessica Simpson? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I don't, I never, she I got to see. Remember. I don't get it. I don't know if she was joking initially when she said it, but she so. always said it to us. So <laughs> I think maybe it got a laugh and she was like, oh, this is a funny thing. Would you play polo with your boyfriend Stallone? Yeah, Sandlot. <laughs> and let's see if we can figure out this ranking system. Does he play like a now? I don't even know what polo. You know, people is. play like adult softball. Does he play in a Sandlot league now with like <laughs> other entertainers? They have jackets <laughs> and shirts and shit. So during a match, uh, Stallone's <laughs> dad, who obviously is abusive, there, was this a real match or in the Sandlot? He doesn't say. Okay. Just, he's playing a game, whatever it is called. Okay. His dad shows up, starts saying like, you, "You're doing the, the horse wrong," and Stallone starts yelling at his dad in the stands, like, "No, I'm not." And he's like, "You're gonna hurt the horse. You can't do that." So that's a professional game because they're on a, a, not a professional game, but no, but like, I think all these games he was on a horse, but I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so Stallone's dad starts yelling at him. Stallone's dad comes out of the stands, grabs Stallone by the throat. Okay. Choke slams him onto the ground in front of people. Takes the horse. We have so much in common. Takes the horse and leaves in the middle of a fucking thing. The nationally ranked polo player he did this to. 13th. He dropped the 16th. He would have been 12, but he got choke slammed. If he had a better a doting father <laughs> instead of a psychopath. You imagine being one, being at a polo game is crazy. Right. Then seeing a father choke slam a kid off a horse? Um, uh, polo, yes. Like football, baseball, all that stuff, fine. But polo, for some reason, it's on a different. Choke slammed him, took the horse. <laughs> took his horse and went home, taking my ball and leaving. <laughs> it's going to get it. <laughs> Stallone said uh, he got to the point where he said, I'm not going to break no matter what my father does to me. Like, I'm just going to take it and I won't show him even the Never satisfaction him of any... being in, in pain. Got it. So he's like, I'm going to be stoic and I'll just sit there and I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll just give him, I'll just stare at him. Frank uh, took up for the father a little bit. So he's like, my brother was, he was a troublemaker. Got a lot, a lot of fights, thrown out a lot, a lot of schools. Oh yeah, because he's getting choke slammed <laughs> Off the horse. But he was t- taken and up I for the dad. You, I will bet you the dad was more abusive to him, probably because they had more in common, but then he had the, the problem. Frank said there was a jealousy between yeah. his dad and Sylvester that wasn't between him and his dad. Because he was more like him. 
Probably. He was probably hot. He knew yeah. he was hot. He's like, look at him ride that horse. He's ranked. <laughs> Frank sucks at polo. <laughs> Not even in the top 100. I'm not even going to make eye contact with Frank. Frank doesn't even go to the sand lot. <laughs> he doesn't even know where it is. Play with his friends. <laughs> Frank has friends. What an idiot. Frank hates horses. <laughs> Piece of shit. That's, wow. Storm okay. trivia. What play was he in in college? Oh, shit. Walter Mitty, Death of a Salesman. Yes, 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 yes. Because I remember thinking, Really? When I heard it, like, see, imagine seeing him oh, playing. Crazy. Yeah, doesn't fit at all. And you're thinking the dialogue, and you're going, okay, no. I know. just always think of Dustin Hoffman playing Walter Mitty. <laughs> Tremendous. Not Stallone. Different, different kind of acting. <laughs> yeah, different. very different. <laughs> Stallone claims, and I, I, because the polo threw me off. I'm like, what if this is true? He says a Harvard professor was in the audience and told him that he needs to pursue acting. And he's like, really? Yes. And he's I, like, yeah, he should. But why was the guy there? He was just hanging out? Checking by the way local show why was sylvester's reaction really did he know how bad he was or he just said he like had never thought of it and he was like well, why who would be in a play he just said he liked doing it and then he was just like what really you think so and the guy's like yeah i do and then he's like well, i want to be a polo this. player you know like the man's gorgeous that's all who, the harvard professor <laughs> stallone oh he's not a thinker i don't think <laughs> i don't get it like <laughs> Although his quotes are pretty, I thought are, no, no, no. Are he, good. He, that's the thing. He's common sense, and he's great. He's a great writer, I think. It's Tarantino I said he liked his dialogue. Said he has like a very straightforward, kind of simple, but he's like there's a rhythm to it. Like yeah. if you know Stallone dialogue, like he, he has a style. Uh, he, he it's was, in layman terms, and it's right. I early think. Stallone was told you're only ever going to be an extra, or he, they would give him half naked roles on off Broadway plays. People were jealous. It wasn't he was in that porn. He did a soft porn. He didn't talk about it in this. Yes, of course. he never brings it up, but because he was embarrassed by it. But he needed the money. He was living in his car. So he started to write because he couldn't. No one was giving him roles. So he said, right. I'll write roles for me, and I'll see what happens. And then they wouldn't let him star in it because they said he wasn't That's a leading Rocky. man. Yes. So he meets John Herzfeld, who's like his longtime friend and collaborator. Uh, they meet in New York. They make a movie called Horses. <laughs> silent film. People are like, why are you making a silent film? He said Because Stallone's screaming in the back. We said they had no <laughs> he said they had no budget. They're okay. like young, they're young guys, right? Uh, it's so a silent film about we're a going cowboy. Backwards. We're gonna make a silent film. This is his words, not mine. A cowboy and an Indian come up from their graves a hundred years later, after being hung. Wow! And I think they're like fighting. They cast Stallone's father <laughs> to play this guy who shoots him, and Stallone said the father was like really loving, like going crazy, like all right, chill out, man. Like, <laughs> what's going on? Okay. Uh, so that was their first thing. He said, like, people were like, what the fuck is this? Why'd you make a silent cowboy film? <laughs> we're flashing. There's like, a, the cowboy's like breaking a windshield on a car. Wait, what? It's, it's 100 years later. Oh, right. They're okay. like reanimated. Like, okay, okay. 100 years later. Yeah, very bizarre. <laughs> so said they were shooting guns. He's like, those were live rounds. You know, like, we were like, what? what? Yeah, he said they were using real guns. <laughs> Alec Baldwin's like, yeah, I get it. Uh, Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's Stallone's early friend in Hollywood? Do you know? Uh, no. Fonzie. Oh, Henry Arthur, Winkler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They met on Lords. Yeah, I meant Henry Winkler. I was gonna say Arthur <laughs> Fonzarelli. Like what? Lords of Flatbush. Right, Lords of Flatbush. I've never seen it. Have you? Yes, a million times. In fact, and uh, Dice looks like the uh, the out. What is it? Outcast? Outsiders. Kind of, you could, yeah, the kind of like that. Warriors, jackets. like th yeah. wanderers, things like that. Because it was these gangs in New York, and one of my favorite lines in it is, "I eat Avenue J." It's so silly, <laughs> so good. But Andrew's aunt was, uh, like, put money up. She was a producer, really, on the Lords of Flatbush. He was so impressed that I knew Lords of Flatbush. I'm like, are you kidding? Anything he does, I would look how cute. Stallone said he was improving a lot of his lines, and he realized like, oh shit, like they're letting me do this. And so then he he pulled an Andrew Dice Clay, and he was rewriting all of his <laughs> scenes. See on set, and yeah. then he said like he really wanted to showcase like what he could do. Yeah. And so this movie became like I'm going to play it like basically as myself, as to, opposed to like he's like, can I do this as like I would do it? And they're yeah. like, yeah, it's fine. And then he's fun. He said him and. Uh, Winkler were a real odd couple. He's like, he's Ivy League, Jewish, like, you know. Sure. I'm, and I'm me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm playing soul, uh, uh, Sandlot Polo. I'm mm. fine. <laughs> it's 
crazy Henry they Winkler made gets it. they made Henry Winkler into like a badass because he's such a small. He really is, and he's little. And shows wait, you what Fonzie, what a good one? acting job that was. You bought into him as like this badass guy. Yeah, Look but him, I tiny. guess the equivalent of this, where they the, the writing might have been a little better, and it might have got a little more mainstream, was The Wanderers. Okay, that was later with Ken Wall. But it, um, he, this was one of my favorite movies. We'd watch it on a loop. I loved it. Never seen it. Ken Wall, look how gorgeous too. Maybe I got a thing for dark hair and leather jackets. <laughs> yeah, look how cute. Uh, so Stallone, you, you never saw The Wanderers? No. I don't even know if I can be here. Stallone, right now. well, you almost didn't. I Stallone have been. <laughs> said he got thirteen hundred bucks from this movie. I believe that. Used it to get a car. Drove to L.A. and the only person he knew in L.A. was Henry Winkler. Right. His car breaks down on Hollywood and Vine upon getting in. It was a real shitbox. Right. He calls Fonzie. <laughs> he picks Fonzie. Was a huge star. He's on Happy Days at this. Yeah. Point. He comes, picks him up. He said Stallone had like everything he's ever owned and a huge dog, like piling <laughs> his car. Oh yeah, Buckus. He got Buckus back. Piled in his car, and he's like, uh, yeah, I'm, he's like, he was married. I think I don't know if he had a kid. He's like, I can't bring you home. So he took him to a motel, stayed there three days, and he said he ended up in a shithole in the valley, one street away from Balboa Boulevard. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> there that, it is. You know, he always would drive by it. Did, <laughs> did he pay rights for the name? <laughs> That's the question. 818 Balboa you Boulevard. Got it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stallone says he's writing Rocky. Okay. And he says there was a thuggery about Rocky, the initial, his initial drafts. Like Rocky was a real bad guy, and he says his. Is this bef- just, just to interrupt you. So I need to be out of here in twenty-five minutes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Got it. Thank you. So he thanks a lot, Eleanor. Sorry. <laughs> Blame Eleanor. So Always. He he, uh, he says his friend who's typing Rocky for him, this woman. Which why is she typing? Because mm, he can't. She says she's crying because she hates Rocky. Because he's so mean? Yeah. Oh, boy. And so he said he, he realized you need to rework it. By the way, he claims you- re- Is that when he met Chuck? Claims he wrote it in three days. Yes. Which is anyone, if you've ever- you can't, Writing a pilot, a TV pilot- Unbelievable. In three days is hard. Mm-hmm. Writing a movie? Yeah. He says, though, his thing is he just throws it- it's, He knows 90% of it's going to suck. But and that's, then he rewrites isn't that, it. Isn't that what they tell people to do? Because I do, still can't get by. Three my, days is hard. It's hard. Yeah. It's like 30 I, pages a day, if not more. I did 80 pages and in like a day and a, two days maybe. And then I just scrapped the whole thing because I was like, no, no. I can't write like, I, it's incredible. That yeah, so he said he did that. it. And then he realized he's like, he needed that love interest. Like he's like, and then I eventually made him a boxer and that's when I found the whole deal. But he had the frame of it in three days basically. Yes. So then he had to go the in. Beginning, middle and end. The rest of it took how much more time? It didn't say. But yeah, I'm not sure three days. Yeah, no. Yeah. Because you don't make perfection in three days. The producers were like, we'll give you 250 Gs not to be in this movie. <laughs> and he said yes. he wouldn't take it. He's like, I'm betting on my, he's like, I'd rather fail. I'm betting on me. Rather fail as me than have it be someone else. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing with him with the quotes and stuff like that, where he's saying like, would you rather uh, be like, if I had the chance, would you rather live in that imaginary? If I had the chance, I'd beat everybody. Right. Or be the person who tried. And- yeah failed and became the failure yeah i'm a failure so he's on the set a guy who's never really he's not a lot of experience very minimal acting yeah. roles and someone said sylvester are you ready <laughs> his answer 12 no. months out of the year no, his answer is no <laughs> but rocky is <laughs> what an answer but like during that he had to sell bud kiss they and then uh, like the For guy sex who no? Oh. Because he couldn't afford to feed him. Like he was literally starving. And then the when he got the success of Rocky, when he got the money for it, he went to buy him back. And the asshole upcharge, like made him pay like fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, it's a good move. That's a jerk off move. It's called business. That's what it is? Maybe even more than that if you look <laughs> it up. But it's a jerk off move. Uh, Stallone's listening to himself via the recorder. Okay, that makes sense. Makes sense. And he's doing an interview, and you know he claims that Rocky's a love story. It's not a sports movie or boxing movie. It's a little bit of both. And so he's he's listening to a, a young him talk about it, and he's going, "Say love story, say it." <laughs> and he and he didn't say it. He was so angry at a young him oh, in the interview. There's him and his dog. How much did that guy charge him? I forget what it was. 
It doesn't say. $18,000. But it was like insane. But anyway, go ahead. So they screen Rocky. Three quarters of the audience walked out. Well, 15000 Say I said 1500 I'm going to ask. But that. imagine that $15,000. You want the dog back? $15,000. You're in a movie. Give it up. Piece of shit. Three quarters of the audience walks out at the, at the uh, screening. So they had to tweak it. Then the the opening, they said the theater in the theater at the premiere were participating in the fight, like a, yeah. like a real crowd. And they're like, "Oh shit, we got something." Here. Yeah, because you could hear it outside. They said that's what I Frank said on the street. Frank couldn't even get in; couldn't get a ticket. <laughs> he was out to take it back. <laughs> do, 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 do. They have Arnie talking about Rocky, which is great. Uh, I watched Rocky. He said he had, in, after Rocky, instant fame forever. So his life was completely sure. up, upside down. His scumbag dad, after Rocky, goes to John Herzfeld and goes, hey, guess what? I'm writing a, a boxing movie. <laughs> and he tried to say, he goes, he goes, okay, then give it to Sylvester. He goes, no, I wanted you to do it. <laughs> and so Frank's like, he's still competing with him. And he goes, no, it's based like on Rocky's life. And Stallone goes, you can't, that's my, you can't steal yeah, my character. Yeah, that's crazy. And so his dad was trying to get a movie made. But wait, he's, this is, this, I'm not going against you, but I'm saying this. you saying he can't steal characters. Rocky is stolen from Chuck. Yeah. I can't think of his last Chuck name. Wepner. Wepner, thank you. Yeah, well, it's a little hypocrisy, but. A lot of hypocrisy. <laughs> it's like the definition. There he is, look at Chuck. <laughs> Wepner. Stallone did two movies after Rocky I've never heard the of. The Bleeder, what do they call it? Did him? terribly, what? What, did they, what was his nickname, The Bleeder or something like that? The, t the, the human tampon brawler but also he would bleed a lot or something i the, the, they did a great show uh bayonne bleeder, bayonne bleeder. Uh, they did uh, a, a movie or an hbo show about chuck really? it was called chuck and it's his life story i thought chuck was on nbc shit with a neighbor it was a neighbor of yours meow saw him last <laughs> night go ahead stallone did two movies after rocky that bombed i've never even heard of him one was about unions, working in unions, trucking unions. Wait, Fist? Yeah. Well, you've never heard of Fist? No. I'm done. I thought it was, was a gay it? porno. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's a what? tremendous movie. I've never heard of Fist. It's an excellent movie. Who's heard of Fist? And the fact that it bombed is ridiculous. It was Fist and then some other movie, and he was the critics. He wanted to fight critics. He was like openly saying, I want to fight you guys in that Please, What's the next movie? Rambo? First Blood? No, no, no. It was something else. It was Fist, and what was the other one? Uh, it was something like he wanted to get away from Rocky, so he was doing these other. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, other style of movies. <laughs> I looked at Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, Fist and I forget the other one. Oh, Either way, they both did bad. So they both bombed. Yes. Um, so the star power. Now you go back down, kind of. Is yes. what happens. Yes. He had to re kind of rebuild. Okay. Oh, yeah. excellent movie, Paradise Alley. <laughs> Look at you. I'm done with everything. Look how angry you are. You want to Look fight how the cute critics. he looked. I'm with him. Those were great you movies. You would watch him. And we watched Paradise you Alley watch on You would watch him wash a car for an hour and a half. Okay, that's true. But <laughs> you probably have. Paradise Alley is great. Well, the th critics and the people didn't think so. What do you want me to do about it? I didn't okay, it. go ahead. It's not my fault. Yes, so good. Great cast. Uh, the original Rambo, he said, as he wrote it, was a, no, he got a script for Rambo. He didn't write it. And Rambo was a homicidal maniac. And he said, can I rewrite it? <laughs> uh, he said he wanted him to go right to the edge. And he said, my father was Rambo. Nothing was ever settled verbally. So, like, he kind of channeled his father into this psychopath character. Uh, Stallone, the theme of this is he doesn't want any of his characters to die in the end. Because um, he hated that in that Fist movie that he got killed in the end. He's like, the hero should right. never die in the end. Yeah. And he said... Uh, originally they had Rambo dying in the end and he said it would give Vietnam vets no hope and he refused to do it. Yeah. And they almost threw it, like fired him. They almost threw him because he's like, I'm not doing it. But then eventually they came to his side. And that was smart because... He did 18 movies. <laughs> Arnie said after Rambo, it became a competition between Sly and Arnie. And Arnie's like, who uses the bigger knives, the bigger guns? <laughs> Who has Who's the got more muscles? Lines. Who's got less yeah. body fat? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is stupid. These are two adults. <laughs> two adults over, in a very competitive business. Fighting over who has less body fat. And everybody fat. knows that Stallone's the better. I would be sending the other guy. My mom likes Arnold. I'd be sending pizza, you know, desserts. <laughs> eat it. Come on, Arnie. Eat it up. Uh, Stallone's like, oh, you fucked your maid? Well, I'm going to have some other kids. <laughs> See how that goes. 
I th- uh, I didn't realize this. I said in here they're like the magic and Larry Bird of action kinda. movies. Yeah, I like that. Like they're linked. Yeah, and they're, they yeah. kind of made each other better. They competed. They definitely made each other better. Stallone said, "I've always believed in sequels." I wrote, "You? No, come <laughs> on! <laughs> I didn't know that." Not a lot of sequels do well, and his do. He's had five back operations. He says he doesn't learn not to push too hard. And he's like, I'll probably have more. He's like, I can't stop. He's addicted. Can't stop doing it. He's addicted to that love from the outside. At this point, we revisit Polo Talk, which I loved. (laughs) He wants to make a comeback at 40 years old. He's going to play a match against his father. (laughs) Entertainment Tonight's there. All these people. This is all on video. They You're kidding. I swear. I can't. I got to get my Netflix piece of shit father. Hits him in the back with the polo mallet. Jeep shots him. This is the Wanderers. Knocks him off the horse. Stallone goes, wow. after that, I sold all of it. I never played again. I was done. Fuck. Fucking hit him in the back. could have killed him. He goes, I almost got trampled by my horse. This piece of shit. What a psycho. <laughs> this is just like a chair. This isn't like a real thing. Yeah, yeah. Just like a fuck around game. Yeah, it's like Hulk, almost, Rocky Three. Almost killed him. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, so he hung up the polo, the horse, after that. Yeah, he got rid of it. He was done. Uh, I can't do it. You know the famous De Niro line from Copland? You blew it! Of course. Of course. (laughs) Stallone gets into the scene where it was written differently, and he's like, (laughs) I wanted to get under his skin, you know, like. So he was fu- he like was doing shit as an actor, <laughs> and it forced De Niro to go off script and yell that you blew it. Oh my god! They talk. There's a lot of that, which I didn't like that stuff as much. It got in very particular in the scenes he's done of like, look at Adrian, he, like which is cool. It was cool to see, but, but you I, know how he likes to re-edit. Yes, <laughs> I like the life stuff better than that. Right, right. right. It was like my new show of scenes of like. Here she's looking over the. You know, right, right, and I'm like, okay, and I, and I was doing this. Yeah, you catch like, what I did there. Yeah, I was all like, right. all right, I don't really care about that. It was very particular. It was interesting to see, but it was. I like the life stuff better. The polo. Yeah. More polo. Always less. funny. More polo. More Sandlot polo, please. You blew it. You blew it. That's great. They talk about I has two characters he can always go back to when he's feeling a little lonely. Rocky and Rambo. <laughs> They did the two quotes. Most famous co- the quotes you characters. mentioned to me I, that I'd never heard, but it's from Rocky VI. I've never seen Rocky what, VI. Wait, wait, wait. You're talking about the speech to his son? No one punches right harder here. than life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's about how hard about you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's Rocky VI. I've never seen Rocky VI. I can't, Jeff. Who watches Rocky I, VI? Everybody. Not me. I did. I just watched it two days ago. Yeah, to masturbate for four hours. Well, that's how I get through the day. He said, never been the same physically after Expendables 1. Went too mm. hard. He's, I was like, this guy's got to chill out. He's fucking 70 something. Yeah, I'm going to send you that quote. You should live by it. I'm going to put it on my I'm going to tattoo it on my ass. Dice quotes it all the time. <laughs> Go he's... ahead. It's a thing. It's, so, our, it's our common ground. <laughs> all right. We're bringing it to a close. Stallone's dad's on his deathbed. Uh, Frank calls Sylvester. He's like, you haven't talked to dad in forever. He's dying. Come talk to him. Bring your polo stick. Stallone goes and talks to him. His dad on the deathbed. Is on a horse. This piece yeah. of shit has the nerve to say, you know what? You should be kind. You need to forgive people. And still, you're going to tell me this now? <laughs> the dad who tried to kill him in a polo game. Tried to write a movie after he wrote Rocky. Parents a, just don't understand. What he was, Oh, Smith? my God. Yeah, I was like, what a... That's, he's like, wow. thanks a lot, dude. <laughs> did he bring up... Did they bring up his kids? They mentioned his kids, and they showed that his son died. They did a thing Sage, on the screen, but he yeah. didn't address it at all. Didn't they both die? Sage and it, oh, the older one. Okay. And then he has the three daughters. He brings. He talks about the daughters. Yeah. But he didn't. They didn't. He saw. Talk about his son being in the movie Rocky Four. Sage. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Rocky Five. But he didn't mention. Oh, you watched Rocky Five? I did. Yeah. But not okay. Not Balboa. Rocky Balboa. Sue me for what? <laughs> Uh, I said, regarding his children, I could have learned so much more if I hadn't been so self-absorbed in dealing with other people and making stupid yeah. movies instead of making their lives. But he he still won't stop now. Like it's right. He it's has because the money. it's a drug. It's a thing. It's he's it's, filling the hole. He's addicted. But he's, he's never going to fill the it. hole. Yeah, and he that's the, what people don't realize. You're never going to fill that hole. Fill that like hole, bitch. Matthew Perry. I just read his book, and it's the same thing. It's he spent his life looking for that love that. You know, oh, pay attention, a- attention to me, because he got neglected sad, growing up. It's a yeah. sad, sad business. Yeah, so don't have kids if you're going to neglect them. <laughs> uh. 
It ends with Stallone saying, I'm in the hope business. I hate sad endings. Sorry, shoot me. And then it just ends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the hope business. <laughs> Which is kind of a sad ending, I thought. <laughs> I'm in the hope business too, buddy, and I hope there's still a chance for us. There is. I think Jessica is going to walk out, or whatever her name is. Jennifer. Jennifer, Jessica. God, Jennifer Flowers. I, Flowers. <laughs> she like my accent. Eleanor and out. Sylvester belong together. That's a couple. Eleanor I, and Sylvester Stallone. Two I mean, names you don't hear a lot. Come on. Philly, I mean, Northeast, Why didn't he South, do Rocky in New York, but, by the way? Because he's from New York. Um, Because it's better in Philadelphia. Everything's better in Philadelphia. That's true, even the cream cheese. 100%. Don't fuck around. All right, let's get out of here. Thank um, you, guys. Thanks for waiting. And I apologize that I came here completely unprepared, even though I know everything about this man. Except for the polo. Huh? Why is Flavin? Flavin, flowers. Who's flowers? What? Oh, really? Flav and Flav. Flav and Flav, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't, wait, is Jennifer Flowers a politician? <laughs> no, I think she was involved with Bill Clinton. Oh, something like that. Okay, I mix two people. Yeah, I just, what I do is just because I'm mad at her, so I make her, I change her name, but. You should buy Selena a horse. No, they have beautiful daughters, and the they, I did meet the daughters, penis. they're very pretty. They're beautiful. They're very sweet. You said I should have been your mother. <laughs> <laughs> then they would have. If I was your mother, you could have had a horse face. Huh? Bring it all back. You should wear full this. circle. You I, should wear this. I don't need it. To meet Stallone. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I got to go. I'm playing Sandlot Polo a little bit. Same. Thank I'm, you, guys. Like, subscribe, here. do all that. Jeff is sweating. All right. Bye. <laughs>